Today, we'll be telling you about the long-awaited Juggernaut mode, as well as new drones. And we'll also be talking about balance changes in the game. Hello, tankers! Are you excited to watch the stream giveaway for mobile invites? Don't miss it later today. Maybe in the evening you'll be blasting enemies in tanky while relaxing on a couch with coffee and Wi-Fi. Look for the stream link in the description below. In the last few days, issues started appearing in the game. Lags, critical errors, long waiting times for battles and battle disconnects. The blame lies on the server issues. Most of them have already been fixed, and what's left is to optimize the solution, so the errors won't appear again. Now let's get to the news. Many of you in the comments under the last episode asked about the Juggernaut. When is it coming? Previously we said very soon, but we also clarified if everything goes according to plan. The latest tests have found a few annoying bugs. We have fixed them and now the update is getting ready for release. There's no specific date for it yet, but it's real soon. Follow the news. Very soon, probably next week, new drones will be added to Tanky, and there's three of them. Engineer. It prolongs the active time of supplies picked up on the map. Driver. Speeds up overdrive recharge time while destroying tanks. Suitable for attackers, its effect is passive and doesn't have a reload. And the third drone, Supplier, prolongs the active time of the supplies double damage, double armor and speed boost, and also shares the effect of activated supplies with nearby allies. The effect is triggered after a drone's reload. With the release of the new drones, the parameters of the old drones will also slightly change. The radius at which Mechanic heals the allies has been increased. Also, Mechanic can't now be triggered by activating Overdrive. The effect is now applied only from the repair kit, and it doesn't matter if the kit was picked up or activated. We have also decreased the reload time for Assault Drone. Now it will prolong the time of active supplies more often. It's been a long time since we had any balance changes in Tanky. We were waiting for the release of matchmaking, drones and most importantly new modules and didn't want to introduce balance changes several times for the same things. With the nearest release we will introduce the following turret changes. Isida will no longer unfreeze or put out the fire on tanks. This change was needed because the famous Isida trains became absolutely indestructible for freeze and firebird turrets, while turrets of the same range and radius should be equally and comparably effective. Freeze will gain a damage increase on all modifications. The turret needed to be more effective for a long time, and adding damage was inevitable. Also, spawn points and bases in rugby mode will slightly change on some maps, and in Assault we'll move a few of the flags around. Now skins. In place of the Hornet Railgun XT kit in the shop, soon will be the Viking Thunder kit. After that, skins for Hornet and Railgun can be found only in containers. At the same time, we have started working on other XT skins. We still have 3 hulls and 9 turrets left, and in the future they will all get their own skins. Let's wait. And one more thing. We are all used to the alternative appearance for turrets and hulls only as XT. But moving to the skin system has opened for us a way to create any kinds of skins for equipment. So it's possible that soon we'll see something brand new. Crazy weekend! Hooray! The event will run this Saturday and Sunday, with the rules familiar to everybody. Make enough kills in standard battles and get prizes when you destroy 400, 800 and 2000 enemy tanks. This time, tankers who destroyed 2000 enemy tanks or more will get the retina paint. And as always, two lucky tankers among the players who make 800 kills or more will each get a dream tank. And so it's even more fun to play. Double funds and sales will be active till the end of the weekend. A sale on kits, gold boxes, premium, crystals and paints will start in the shop on Saturday. And on Sunday, a sale on garage items and micro upgrades. Read more about the discounts on the website. Video of the week. Last time we asked you to record a super impressive or tricky shot. Let's watch the best video. For the next episode, the theme is simple. How many kills you made on Crazy Weekend? Don't forget to equip the red paint. That's it for today's episode. Good luck in Crazy Weekend and see you next Friday. Bye!
A week ago, three thunders shot at Firebird, which fired back in return. You had to choose who would explode the second. And the right answer is Player Yalo in Masters of Parkour 2015 Paint. Let's welcome the winners. And we remind you once more, send the answers to question of the week through the special form you can find in the description. Answers submitted any other way, like in YouTube comments, on the forum or through video of the week form will not be counted. 20 random correct answers will be chosen every week. And here's the new question. 